This question can be extra tricky. We have a base graph, a B of X graph, and then we want to figure out what transformations created this graph down below. And they tell us that it's a horizontal, a vertical stretch and a horizontal stretch. So A will be the vertical stretch, B is the horizontal stretch. It would be very nice if we had a point at the origin. Unfortunately, we don't. So what I'm gonna do is grab the two points on the x-axis and see where they go. Now these two points, the reason I grab these, are they affected by a vertical stretch? Their y-coordinate's already zero, so a vertical stretch won't change them. Uh, only, the, only the horizontal stretch will change these. So let's think about these two graphs. It's a little tricky to see, but there's a horizontal reflection going on because this part right here turns into that part. And then the part that goes further down turns into that part. So there is uh, a negative uh, horizontal reflection or horizontal stretch. So B is gonna be negative. And let's look at where it goes. These two points right here <clears throat> turn into that point and that point right there. So what's happening? Let's look at, I'll circle that point twice, turns into that point. So what's happening to this? We're going from x value of positive two to negative four. And how do we do that? We multiply by negative two, except we know it's the opposite of what it looks like. So B is actually gonna be negative one half well, we would stretch by negative two, but that means that B is the opposite. So the opposite of making something uh, multiplied by two is multiplied by negative one half. So B is negative one half. Now we're gonna look at the A, the vertical stretch. This function, the height is two and the height is two. So the height doesn't change. So the vertical stretch is either positive or negative one because the height doesn't change. If the vertical stretch was negative, the second graph would look something like that. It would be a V opening upwards, not downwards. So there is no vertical stretch. You have to put a value for A in. So what do you multiply to not change it? You multiply by one. Your vertical stretch might be different. So you can just measure the height like we did right here. And if your height's the same, then your vertical stretch is either one or negative one and you can figure out is it reflected or not. And when I say the height, I mean the total uh, from the highest to the lowest y value is what I mean by the height of the graph. And you do need to, uh, I don't have the rest of the question on the screen, but they're asking what does A equal and what does B equal? And just make sure your horizontal stretch is the opposite of what it looks like. So it looked like it was, you multiply by negative two, but when you actually fill in the value for B, it's negative one half because that's the opposite of multiplying by negative two.